Hey guys, thanks for joining me in the studio. I uh, appreciate your time. Uh, today we're going to be painting some water lilies. Uh, a little like this one here. And uh, it's inspired by Monet, although we won't be painting his style of uh, painting, but we will be learning a lot about his uh, techniques and stuff like that. What it's actually more inspired by is uh, my feeling for the need for more peace around the world. Wherever you are, I'm sure you could use some more peace. And uh, so just the idea to create this beautiful, peaceful water lily painting that you can put on your wall and uh, feel those feelings of peace and harmony. And of course, there's also the peace of doing the painting itself. So all will be revealed in the video. All right, let's get right into it. We've got a 12 by 14 inch canvas stretched out here with tape. So I've found the easiest way to do these, the water, the background for the water lilies, is to actually paint it upside down because what we're painting is the reflections. And if you look at all of Monet's water lily paintings, they have reflections of trees in the sky and clouds, right? In this case, I thought it'd be neat to paint it upside down. It's it's just better if you want to paint painterly paintings to have a lot of paint out on your palette. If you don't have a lot of paint out on your palette, you can't get a lot of paint on your painting, obviously. So it really pays to, as they say, paint like a millionaire if you want your painting to look like a million bucks. Now notice I'm just using pretty much all of these strokes are either vertical or horizontal, right? And there's a good reason for that. It's going to really create the effect of a reflective surface when we turn it upside down. If you put them on like your brain wanted, which it, you'd be making a pattern, it would be lo like polka dots, right? Because um, your, your brain loves to make patterns. So I'm trying to avoid that when I'm putting these, these shapes on here. And a good way to do that is, yes, look at photos, but if you want to make it up more yourself and you're having trouble doing that, um, throw some coins onto a tray and photograph them from different angles until you get a pattern or you know a movement that you like to look of. And those little one and two dollar water lilies or something like that. It's just an idea for you. Pretty good. Now notice when I Put that down i'm you know twisting the brush and trying to make it a nice oval shape so light pressure and then heavy pressure and then light pressure and then you've got yourself a lily pad all right and make this really impasto really thick paint so it really stands out off the surface because you've made this nice flat um, backdrop for it and now this stuff can be really impasto and uh, really catches the eye. Another thing you can think about when you're painting these is, like if you had a longer canvas, you could think, well, do I want these um, ovals to be perfectly horizontal? Or should I go with what my eye would actually see in that if I was focusing here, the... Um, the central axis of these ovals as they come out here would change like this, right? And you can see that when I hold up these coins that see like this one here, the central axis is, is out there. It's obviously not straight, right? And then as it goes over here, it changes. Now this is more pronounced because the camera and in, uh, in, in most cameras, um, specifically in this iPhone, is a 35 mil, so it's a more of a fisheye effect. And the further away you get an object from that, the less effect you'll see from that. But that's something to think about. And you can even think about here, like do I want these ones 
to you know lean a little bit down as they get to the edge now I want to grab that stuff make a few uh, very thin little verticals these are little um, reeds do you know I'm not really happy with it which often happens when you finish a painting uh, it's all dry now but I think the reason is there's just not enough light in the painting I want this to be a a uh, very peaceful calm painting and it is but I think it would be more so if there was more light in the painting than there was dark and at the moment it's leaning towards the dark so I want to lighten a lot of these lily pads up so I get more light in the painting so let's see how we go with that nice thing about uh, painting over it like this courses that you get more in pasto than it was before these uh, these water lilies really start to stand off the smooth background so that's nice and uh, if you look at Monet's paintings you know they're done in layers and over days and weeks and months and that's I, I think one of the most outstanding characteristics of his water lily series is all the different the textures that he gets the variety of textures from really thin paint to just straight out of the tube thick you know uh, makes it really really interesting to look at holds your attention for a long time the more different things you try the more you realize what the few things are that you really like and really resonate with you and then you eventually grow your own style but uh, it's great to start off by trying to emulate those painters that whose style that you do love because um, sure saves you a lot of time in figuring stuff out just copying master paintings and paintings that you love gleaning little bits of information from each artist much happier with that now it's got a lot more light through it and uh, a lot more vibrancy more notes of color interest and uh, so whether that's you know a, a little painting for a study for a large one or just a standalone painting uh, that you can pop in a little frame and on your wall it's um, quite a neat little fun painting to do because uh, it's not too taxing on the brain and it really is uh, it treads that fine line between uh, abstraction and realism and so you're just playing with colors and shapes with some some big abstract ideas so yeah have fun with that one so as always I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, got a lot out of it and I do hope that uh, you get a lot of peace from painting this and, and from just looking at it and uh, you know whether you want to put it on your wall or give it away as a gift or even sell it that's up to you. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Okay happy painting. Mm -hmm.